the Canadian guidelines recommend that all pregnant women be screened for gestational diabetes between 24 and 28 weeks gestation. However, if a woman has uh, additional risk factors for type 2 diabetes, such as a previous history of gestational diabetes, uh, strong family history of type 2 diabetes or overweight or obesity, then it's recommended that they may be screened earlier in pregnancy. And the main reason for that is to uh, make sure they don't have type 2 diabetes, which would uh, show up right away. Generally, what you eat uh, leading up to the test for gestational diabetes does not have an effect on the results of the test. Uh, we recommend for the first glucose screening test that women don't need to fast um, and that we're just interested in knowing what happens to their blood sugar after we give them a large glucose drink. Having said that though, if a woman decides to also have a large uh, carb or sweet uh, snack prior, just before taking the test, that could likely increase the blood sugar result further. But, but earlier in the pregnancy, uh, the results should not, uh, whatever they eat early in the pregnancy should not have a substantial effect on the actual test results. Being diagnosed with gestational diabetes uh, can be very uh, stressful for uh, women because uh, pregnancy is supposed to be a hopeful time, a time of uh, anticipation and, and a happy time for women. And then they get this diagnosis, which has implications for both them and the baby. So we definitely know that it can make women feel uh, somewhat negative about the pregnancy and anxious about what it means for them and their baby. However, um, we know that uh, here in Canada, we have really great diabetes teams that are able to uh, help women um, manage their diabetes and um, make uh, it as convenient as possible for them so the pregnancy is not, um, so that they have a better experience. So they, for example, um, they, they do need to have some extra appointments uh, and they do need to check their blood sugars during pregnancy uh, several times a day and they do need to make modifications to their diet. But with those changes, they're actually, uh, their chances of having a healthy pregnancy are very high. So if gestational diabetes is not well controlled and the blood sugars are high, then there is a higher risk that the baby will overgrow. Uh, overgrowth of the baby can lead to uh, large sized babies and that can lead to birth complications. Those birth complications can include prematurity and early delivery, uh, can increase risk of need for C-section, and if a woman does undergo a vaginal delivery, then that can increase uh, the risk of birth trauma and complications of labor. So a lot of women, uh, once they're diagnosed with gestational diabetes and they start testing their blood sugars and start seeing how uh, what they eat is affecting the blood sugars, they ask us whether cutting out the carbs in their diet is a, way, a good way of actually keeping those blood sugars normal. And what we tell them is that while cutting out carbs does keep your blood sugars low, it's at the expense of the health of the, your, your baby. So we, uh, we know that when uh, in, with very low carb diets, uh, we make ketones and those ketones have been shown to have adverse effects on the baby. And so for that reason, we actually don't recommend that women cut out their carbs completely in pregnancy. We recommend that they have a healthy amount of carbs and that they spread them throughout the day and that they choose carbs that are healthier for them, lower glycemic index, uh, complex carbohydrates, as opposed to high glycemic index, simple carbohydrates. Mm -hmm.